Let me tell you about how my family leveraged a business mortgage in order to make an additional up to five grand a month in income. So first, at the end of 2021, with the help of my accounting team, we set up a trust that held a solo 401k. A solo 401k is similar to a regular 401k in the aspect of it coming out of my check every week. I invest into it. However, I'm not waiting for it to be invested by a brokerage. I can invest it myself, tax-free. So once I had my youngest daughter at the end of 2021, we set out to go look at properties to invest in. When the youngest was about three months old, I set out along with my mom and my two older daughters to look at houses. And we literally look at over 20 houses in the course of two days, all with a baby strapped to my chest. We ended up finding this cute little property in the Sylvan Hills area of Atlanta. You could literally throw a rock and hit Tyler Perry Studios which is awesome for a lot of reasons. Number one, my children do work up there. They are extras in some of the shows. And then number two, you have a lot of people coming in and out of town to act in Tyler Perry Studios. So great income potential along with things like Airbnb or Peer Space. Or if I wanted to, I could just do a traditional, you know, tenant lease. So after closing on the house, and that's a whole story for another time, we set out to renovate and then decorate the space. This house was a three bedroom, two and a half bath originally, but we renovated the downstairs basement and turned the half bath that was down there into a full bath with a shower, giving the master bedroom in the basement complete privacy. One thing I also love about this house is that there's a concrete slab on the back, which I can add an addition to later. So I'm thinking about adding maybe like a container house or a tiny house so that I can also increase my income there as well. We hired an amazing contractor in the Atlanta area who did all the work for us. I had to do things like, you know, get blinds and replace gutters. But all in all, the money we spent is definitely well worth it because the investment is paying for itself. Plus, I have about $120,000 of equity into the house, which I can leverage for a future purchase if I choose to do so. My mother and I had an amazing time shopping for home furniture. We went to Home Goods. We went to Tuesday mornings. Like we were all over the city. One of the, her favorite things to do is to buy decor and decorate things. She is amazing at what she does. So we had a blast together for almost a year searching for the house, renovating the house, and then decorating everything. This was also a great learning opportunity for the kids. And it was something that we did as a family. And now we have an additional source of income. All debt isn't bad debt. 